Um, let's uh, segue into the Matterport Pro 3 camera training. Uh, let's start with gear. What What is the minimum amount of gear? Uh, in, in fact, why don't we start even just by showing us the Matterport Pro 3 camera, yeah. and maybe you can point out everything that you'd want to show on that device. Sure. So I'm just reaching for it. I actually have, happen to have it with me. Um, so this is the Pro 3. Uh, here's the front. There's a magnetic lens cap that comes with it. Keeps it protected from getting scratched and getting dust on it. Uh, this is the back. So you hit the uh, button right here. It'll give you a power indicator. If you hold it down, it turns it on. Um, on the bottom side, there's a removable battery. And then this is where the quick release mounts to, the tripod oh, mount. Uh, so you, you took the battery out while the camera was starting. Was that a problem? It wasn't starting. I just held it in to show the battery. Ah, OK. And, and why is it helpful to know uh, which, which is the back of the camera? Because uh, that's where you want to stand. Otherwise, you'll be immortalized and tour forever. And so, okay. so, so remind me wh where the back of the camera is, how I know that? Where the LCD screen is. OK. And so when you press that button, it, it sounds like you have two things you can do. You can press it to see uh, your battery charge. So Correct. I, I think it's close to 100%. Yeah, 95. 95%. And then if you hold it down further, is that going to turn it on? Yeah, I'll hold it down for you. Okay. About three seconds. No, oh, sorry. Hold on. Let it go too soon. And am I going to hear anything? I see the logo coming no, up. Yeah, the logo pops up. You don't hear anything. Uh, and at some point, you're going to get a Wi-Fi prompt to connect your device to it. Okay. All right. So... Uh, uh, what's that in case it doesn't pop up here? Uh, is, is your tablet on right now? Uh, is the uh, you're all you're actually traveling to a hotel, so this might be a little bit different today. Is it uh, is it going to find the, the hotel Wi Fi? No, it should find it. Uh, still turning on here, hasn't connected yet. Okay, now it now I see something different so. Now you're getting prompted to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay. And Thanks for see. the show while you've been while you're traveling as well. We appreciate that. Glad to yeah. have a rock solid connection in your hotel room. Me too. So it just prompt it just prompted for the uh, to connect to the Matterport uh, Wi-Fi. So okay. it's automatically connecting because I've connected to it before. And now we're connected. So from whenever you first noticed that it changed till mm -hmm. just now is how long it took for it to connect. Okay. And uh, what are you looking at to know that? Are you looking at your... Oh, I was looking at the Wi-Fi on my iPad. Okay. Over here to the side. Uh, so we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's talk about minimum configuration, minimum gear that you need, because you obviously need more than a Matterport Pro 3 camera. You you, you spent $6,000 to buy the camera. What else do you need to buy? I, I, think, I think about this a little bit like, like when I was a child buying fish. The, fi the fish were really cheap. It was all the accessories that started oh, yeah. to up in money. Or it's like buying a printer. The printer's cheap, but the ink is expensive. Yeah. So um, what what else? Uh, you mentioned a tablet. So tell us about the tablet that you have and why. Yeah, so I like having a big screen to look at. Um, you can control it with an Android or an iPhone, uh, an iOS device. Um, but I use an iPad Pro. Um, I have I just recently bought the sixth gen iPad Pro. So it's um, a two terabyte hard drive and sixteen ter or sixteen gigs of RAM. And I did that because I ran into an issue with the Pro 3 when using my fourth gen iPad Pro. Um, the, the tour kept crashing as I was trying to scan. And I couldn't figure out why. I tried it on a different device. Um, wasn't really working. And it wasn't until I, I called Matterport and they said, well, you should upgrade your device. And I'm thinking, well, I have the fourth gen. That's pretty good. But I just, you know, went out and bought the newest one they had. Newest one, you know, Apple had out. And Excuse after me. I bought it. Was the issue the processor or was the issue the storage or both? They didn't confirm. 
And I don't really know because at that time I also had a lot of tours uh, on the device. It wasn't enough to fill up the hard drive at all. Um, it may have only been about 500 gigs out of two terabytes or whatever that size was. Wasn't more than a quarter, I don't think. Okay. Um, but once I switched devices, I stopped running into issues for a while. I still ran into. What was the problem? What would it? Uh, what wouldn't happen that should have happened? Yeah, so I would do a scan and it would just crash part way through the scan. Uh, it was on Mare Island. I was doing this big outdoor space. I think I had got up to, I think total right now is about 900,000 square feet. Um, and when I was running into the issues, it was probably around 500,000 square feet. Had you Did experienced I the issue with the Matterport Pro 3 camera and your fourth generation iPad when you were doing, quote, normal size spaces, uh, at smaller no. spaces? No, and another difference was this was an all outdoor space, so there was no inside spaces. And um, so I'll fast forward a little bit. Once I got the new device, it picked up and it started going well until I got around 700 scans, and then it just would not align at all. And that was about 900,000 square feet. And when I reached out to Matterport, they said because there's a lot of trees and just a ton of detail outside that. Um, it just kind of was overloading and they didn't really have a fix for it. 